Hello, knockouts. It's Tanya TKO here. Oh my goodness. The sun is out here, but I realize that um, I'm in this historic place, Burbank, California, and I wanted to, oh, it's so noisy. So forgive me because there's this car that looks like it's coming frighteningly close. Goodness. All right. So, in this famous place that everybody wants to be at, this is where all of the music studios, not music studios, movie studios are at, filmed in Burbank. This is where the price is right is at. And I don't have my wind muff for my mic. I don't have my external microphone in with the wind muff. And so, you know what? Let me hold onto my phone extra tight because there's some, some characters, some character looking people near me. You never really know what's going on. All right. So over, over this edge, listen, when I was up on top of this bridge, cause okay, so I was walking on this bridge called on Olive Street, right? And you can see everything. But now, now that I'm down below the bridge, you can only see at my height. I wanted to check and see, oh look, Nickelodeon. Can you see? It says Nickelodeon right there. All right, so we're getting ready to pass by. <laughs> so Sarah's like, put your purse on the inside when you walk in. All right, that is a good idea. Thank you, I will do that. I will do that. Let me do it now. It's just that I'm left arm did. My left arm is stronger than my right arm. Cause when I was in high school, I got into this big fight where I started throwing some dolos on these girls so hard that I pulled my own shoulder out of socket. And in the time that it took to heal, I ended up becoming right arm, I mean left arm did. So that's what happened to me. All right. So we have a two mile walk today. So while we're doing our two mile walk, I kind of wanted to just take a few moments to ask you all how you all are doing out there. Some sort of studio sign or whatever the heck that is. I don't know what it is, but I know that we're about to pass by Nickelodeon right now. So I hope everybody is fine here in California. They wait for you to cross. You see how that car waited for me to cross the crosswalk before it went? Not in New York. Not in New York. Look, we're passing by Nickelodeon. Not in New York. You gotta compete for damn asphalt with the cars in New York. They don't, they don't care about you. They don't care about you. You know what I'm saying? So it's nice and warm out here today. It's been raining a lot. There's lots of bright, beautiful green bushes and trees and everything. I even saw, I even saw, I saw some crazy things on the train today. One of the things that I saw was the most amazing thing that I saw was water. So, cause you all know that I'm in the canyon, right? So I took the train down from the canyon and remember, I've been telling you all, it's called a canyon instead of a valley because a canyon has water running through it. And I've never seen water. Two years I've been here, I've not seen water. It's just been just some dried up mud. And I'm like, what is this supposed to be? Right? Today I saw water. So, oh look! Remember those little things you used to blow? When you were a kid, you used to make your wishes? Let me grab one. Let me make a wish. All right. All right, I made a wish. And so I hope my wish comes true. All right, look at the Nickelodeon building. See that? Nickelodeon. All right. And the Nickelodeon building has orange flowers on the outside, the bird of paradise flowers. <coughs> How beautiful. All right, so nonetheless, I saw water for the first time in two years in that, in that ravine or whatever that was, right? 
I saw that it does look kind of jailed up it does but these are the days in Asia we're living in remember it was just a year or so ago that someone went into YouTube and started shooting up the place so you can't have it open like we used to so I saw that and the other amazing thing that I saw was poppy I saw yellow poppy plants oh look I think these are kumquats I don't like that word but it is what it is I think these are kumquats you tell me look what do you think these things are they're fuzzy let me turn if I can turn the camera around okay what do you think these things are they kind of look like olives but who knows you all want to come and taste one look it's a whole tree full of them so I don't know you tell me you go pull one down you oh, eat it first and then I'll eat it after you no I won't no I won't I'll wait to see what happens with you first and then those are Japanese plums oh wow those are mountains behind me yes because you know Burbank is in the valley right so remember we learned last week the difference between a valley and a canyon so a valley is a low flat piece of land surrounded by mountains so if you look there's mountains surrounding I guess behind all these stores and everything so we are in the San Fernando Valley right now and my peplum the skirt of my peplum dress is blowing up <laughs> and so yeah so I wonder how everybody out there is doing I'll turn the camera around so you can see some of the area where we're at but it doesn't really doesn't really seem like there's much around here people walking around going to get lunch nothing really exciting you don't see anybody you know talking about spinning the wheel and all of that because you know the price is right is in Burbank right hey do you all know where the price is right is around here the price is right yeah it's filmed in Burbank isn't it oh it's it's way over that way like is it studios. yeah oh it's on, it's on like riverside really oh, yeah. all right so we're far from it thank you so i don't think we're going to be seeing any spinning the wheel let me hurry up across this street because you know they got right on red out here let me hurry okay all right give me one second okay all right everybody okay all right so listen we are far from the prices right but this is the beautiful city of Burbank and Honey Childs, I don't know. I do not know. It just, I'm not really seeing much. I'll turn the camera around. All right. So we got people wasting water here, doing their construction. Cause you know, California is in a huge drought most of the times. And so this is pretty much it. I was like, okay, let me use this as an opportunity to show you all Burbank. But me not see nothing. Me not see nothing. It's not even a residential neighborhood. It looks like there's a lot of businesses around here, but I don't see anything. I see nothing. I see, but you know what? The guy said, oh, look at these plants, these succulents on the ground. Let me show you. Aren't they lovely? And at least, at least the succulents are there on the ground unbothered. In New York, those things would have already been stomped on. They'd have stomped them out already. Oh look, an old hoopy. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Huh. All right. So that's pretty much it. Okay. This looks like a residential kind of street right here. But looks like Dance, Create, Discover, Generation DCD. Party night. So it looks like, I don't know. Hey, everybody. I just, I hope that everyone is doing well out there. I've been wanting, I've been meaning to make videos, but I just haven't really been in the mood to be talking about. Um, don't play Miss Allen. You know what? I'll talk about Nipsey, but I don't think people really want to hear what I have to say about Nipsey because people have all jumped on this bandwagon talking about he was so prolific and all this other stuff, right? But from what it is that I've seen, if I talk about him, I know that it's going to cause controversy. And I just haven't really been interested in getting involved in the controversy. You know what I mean? Oh, look. The Burbank Historical Society. You know what? I got cussed out on Facebook yesterday. I got cussed out on Facebook because I asked people, I wonder, I've been doing some research on Nipsey. I'll talk about it in, in my video. Look at this. This one's sort of plain getting ready to take off. I'll talk about it in my video. But most people don't really want to hear um, anything other than groupthink. They want to hear what other, they just want their own thoughts reaffirmed. Because I got cussed out so much yesterday on Facebook. Just asking, I asked people, you can go to my Facebook page, it's right there on my friend page. I asked people if they could send me some of Nipsey's conscious music. I was like, because when I went looking for his music, all I heard was a bunch of N-words and misogynoir. That's what I heard. And I got cussed out. And I was like, oh, okay, so this is his fan base. I was like, okay, that's your fan base, huh? And so when I started looking into it, I realized that he's a very complicated character. But Angel and Third Eye and all of that other stuff, no sir, no ma'am. You know, it's like, he was still up until the day that he died making music, promoting the gang life. So, I don't know. Look at this beautiful tree right here. Isn't this lovely? It's like it has these pine cones, unlike any pine cone I've ever seen. Let me clean off my camera so that you all can see better. But look at these pine cones. Isn't that lovely? Doesn't this look like something from a dream? Like if you were dreaming and you woke up and you were walking through heaven and it looked like that. So no, people don't really want to hear what I have to say. And Mary, you're saying he was still doing more than most and I think that that's part of our issue. You know, when we, when we deify, when we deify these very troubled characters, there are a lot of there are a lot of black people out there who are doing the damn thing, who are not throwing up gang signs and crip walking and all of that other stuff. I'm on Olive Street right now. So I'm just working, walking down Burbank on Olive Street and it's beautiful, big magnolia tree, but there's no leaves on the magnolia tree or no, flower, not, no flowers on it. And then there's some palm trees right there. So it's like, hmm, okay. So yeah. So Tyree is saying he's dead. I'd rather not go there. I think that they don't want to hear it because he's no longer here to defend himself. Let him rip. See what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. The people don't want to hear. So you want me to talk about Nipsey, but then you don't want to hear what the hell I have to say. So which one is it? Are you telling people who are pumping you, pumping ear up your behind? Are you telling them to let him rip? So that means that nobody should be speaking about him then. Unless all you want is for people to speak about what it is that you want a dog one here. The man was a troubled character. And old boy is saying, be careful telling people your location. 
I don't feel no type of way about telling people my location right now. I feel no type of way about it. I feel no type of way. So we all have to listen to our instincts. At this very moment, I feel no type of way whatsoever. I don't live here and I don't walk down this street. So if there's somebody who can get to where it is that I am right now, in the split amount of seconds that I'm gonna be on this live broadcast, then look, let them come, let them come. Go take off a of work or do whatever it is that you need to come and be on this visible street to do what? To do what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Purple is saying the only thing in Burbank is the Walt Disney Studios. No, there's Nickelodeon. There's Fox. There's a whole bunch of studios. This is where all the studios are in Burbank. But nonetheless. <laughs> I know why would anyone be looking for me exactly so no so this is part of the reason that I haven't spoken on on Nipsey hustle because people don't really want to hear I tried doing some research to learn more and what it is that I learned really <laughs> You know how it is nowadays. We get so many spam phone calls. But I'm not going to stay on long. Nipsey Russell was an actor. Nipsey Russell was a gangbanger turned rapper who was at the very beginning of Philanthropy who bought a store and used his store as a cover for illegal operations in which his store got raided several times and his brother was sent to jail behind it. And I believe it was raided two times and closed down. And then when he opened it up again, he decided, I guess, to do things right. I don't know, but people are making it seem like he was some saint that the world, oh look, here's poppies that the world took. Here, I'm gonna show you guys these poppies and then we're gonna get out of here. All right, so look at these. Aren't these lovely? So these poppies don't have like the black thing in the middle, you know, but aren't they lovely? Isn't that pretty? I think it's lovely. So nonetheless, that's pretty much it, everyone. And so you know what, listen, Yes, we are all entitled to our opinion. Yes, we are all entitled to our opinion. Oh gracious, there's a girl passing that's about to pass by me with some knee-high boots. And I don't know, she might be working. Uh, let me avert my gaze. Let me avert my gaze. <laughs> I ain't got no comments. I ain't got no comments. All right. Listen, I ain't got no comment. I got no comment. <laughs> listen, listen. Okay. I think, I don't know how long we've walked, but <laughs> listen. I got people rolling up slowly in the cars in California. You know what, one thing that I'll say about this life out here in California, in Southern Cali, is very unforgiving. Just like in Boys in the Hood, you try to get out of the hood, drive-bys, all this type of stuff. There's too much going on out here. All right. So listen, I, um, And so Tyree is saying, I think in the end he was changing for the better. Right, you know, but it's like you promote, you spend a, more than a decade promoting gang violence, gang culture, and all of that other stuff, and gang life, gang gang. And then the moment that you start changing for the better, that same life that you've been promoting swallows you up whole. I really don't know what to say about that. I don't know what to say. You know, so it's like, it's very unforgiving out here. You 
okay? It's like you cannot get out, you cannot get away. So we'll talk about that in a whole other video. I wanna sit down and make the video. And speaking of sitting down, let me get off of this live stream and figure out where I'm at and figure out where I need to go and where I need to be. All right, so this was our live broadcast. Let me see how long we've been. Oh, you know what? I had a 36 minute walk ahead of me. We've been on for 20 minutes. And so that means I still have longer to go straight down this road. And Tyree saying it's everywhere. And family saying thanks for the tour. Yeah, it's not really much to see, but this is Burbank. I love you all too. I'm gonna get out of here and just concentrate on my walk because goodness knows cell phone batteries don't, don't last like they used to. Then the next thing you know, I won't know where the hell I'm going because my battery would be dead. Had he never been a part of it, I don't think he would have been able to do the things he was doing to end the violence. Listen, all right. One of the, I know one of the things that he didn't do was make a song about not glorifying that life. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. All right, I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one, everybody. Thank you for joining me for this little bit of my walk. I'll see you all in the next video.